Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chesedus in the morning. 15 minutes to change our lives. Look at this. It's going to be a little short this week because we did the first man before this. I want to give a big uh, shout out to Adina Lapine for organizing the Shurim online, making them accessible, and working so hard in the back end to do all the little things that need to get done to make these Shurim possible. Really, big shakayach. Okay. Let's just jump into it. So when the Yidin left Mitzrayim, there was two wars they encountered on the way, two battles they had. One of them was, of course, the Mitzrayim by Chris Yamsuf, and the other one was Amalek. We're going to discuss Amalek a little bit. When we left from Mitzrayim to Har Sinai to receive the Torah, on the way that two was. War with Paray and war with Amalek. The Pasha Shavu is a pair of Tayram, Al Tsivoi, Akadish Barakum, Keta, this Nagubne, Sob Muhammad Salem. In this Pasha, we talk about Hashem telling the Yidden how they should behave by these wars. When it comes to the war with Paray, what's the command? Hashem Hashem says with Paray, in a Paray's voice, says, I'm going to fight for you. Attempt to fight and you'll, you'll be good. In regards to Amalek, the war, say, go fight with Amalek. Very interesting. Two wars, two, uh, two similar enemies, seemingly. One of them, Hashem says, I'm going to take care of it. The other one says, I want you to take care of it. Why? When Amalek, it's a physical war, they actually go to war. With, with Mitzrayim, as we know, the Yidin didn't fight. They just went into the water. The Mitzrayim chased them, got into the water, and they got all destroyed. So it's interesting why one of them, Hashem, did all the work for them. By, but by, um, by Amalek, we had to do all the work. What's going on over here? So what's the difference? I have the Bain Shteya Milchamus. What's the difference in these two words? Pari Haya Meachar Ben Yisrael. Pari was behind the Yidden. Who Loy Amad Bain Ben Yisrael Lebain Har Sinai. Pari wasn't standing in the way of the Yidden going to Har Sinai. He was standing behind them. Kiim and Bain Ben Yisrael Lebain Hadaga Shenech Mitzayim. He was standing in the way of back in Egypt and the food they're going to eat in Egypt. He was trying to sh- shlub them back to Egypt, but he wasn't between them and 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 uh, Har Sinai. The ha achlo, the achlo es hachalav beres and eat the drink the milk in the land, meaning Pari was was a a a, a Pari mentality, Mitzrayim mentality. That's what he was trying to shlub them back. It's his Mitzrayim mentality. Pari tzak shelo yiten lehem es atoy beres Mitzrayim. Pari complained, don't give him the good of Mitzrayim. LMK and ye you have vado unless they're going to come back to your servants. He says, "Hey, we try him is good. We have, you know, it's like in a bad relationship, or you have like a you know bad work environment, and it's not working out, and and they keep on trying to convince you to stay, and they're like, if you come and stay, you'll go get your pay. It's like I'm meant to get paid, and so it's like a bad environment. This is power. He's trying to tell the you, you have to come back, and you're going to get food. I'm going to take care of you." And you're going to have your, your health insurance covered. And all the, you can have all these things, even though you're living in this bad environment. He didn't stand in the way of the Yidin Matanteo. He wasn't, he wasn't stopping them from going to Matanteo as much as he wanted them back in Mitzrayim. And therefore, there the, the way the war happened, because it wasn't getting in the way of going to Matanteo, Shashem said, I'll take care of it. You're good. Trying to uh, drag you back? I'll take care of that. Luma says, in, in contrast, Amalek, Ahmed Ben Bani Saul, Abayn Hasinai. Amalek was standing between the Yid and Hasinai. There's Yid and Hasinai, the Amalek in the middle, getting in the way. The Lai Dubar Khan Al Eretz Tevur Chava Kiim Al Midra. I'm not talking about it's 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 Mitzrayim going back to Mitzrayim, which is a land that has all these good things, or going to Israel has all these good things. I mean, the Yidden are in the desert, and in the desert, the Amalek comes into that desert to destroy the Yidden and try to get in the way of the Yidden going to see Matan Har Sinai in the desert. 
There's not a special place. Kafish Amar Azal. Masbirim Bemejash Tanhuman explained the Majesh Tanhuman Al Ha Uvda Shatay Nisno Midbar on the proof that tells you in the desert, but Lloyd Nitzan Lubni Sola Lech is a Kabbalah Saterim. And Amalek was getting in the way. Meaning, meaning, I see the saying that the Eden weren't even in a good place. It wasn't like they're going to go back to Mitzrayim or go to Eshisol, which is a nice place. I'm like, it's fighting them in the desert. There's nothing there. There's nothing going on. And they're just like Dafkaniks. Besha, Shiyesh, Meneo, Ma'akev. Meneo, Ma'akev, es Kabbalah, Satera. When you have something getting in the way of you receiving the Torah, Haray, Limroy, Shehakoko, Yaakov, Adam, the Ace of Even though the voice might be the voice of Yaakov. And the hand, but the hands are the hands of Esau, meaning Hayadayim, Chayachim, the Esau, the hands are connected to Esau, Ze, Ze, Chalkoi, Kakot, like it says, Al Chaber Chatich, like it says about Esau, by your sword you will live. Achme Acha, Shiyesh, Mafria, like a boss of being that there's something getting in the way of you receiving the Torah, Ein Mitzchashim, Klal, the Cheshbanes. So therefore, we have to go all the ways possible. And to make sure they connect to the Torah. So meaning, when it comes to Torah, this is sort of the point they're ever saying, that when it comes to the Torah situation, then the Malik in the way, so we've got to do whatever we can to get, to get there. And we've got to push us our way through. And that's why there was a physical war with the Malik. Why? The war, don't mistakenly think at the war by Mitzrayim, Hashem took care of it by, by Amalek. We had to put all the effort. It's true, we had to go out to the physical war, but it wasn't that it wasn't my power that makes it, it wasn't the, uh, the strength of the Yid that made it possible for them to win the war. But it was coming from Hashem's, Hashem's war. Because Hashem's name won't be complete and his chair, meaning and, and his, his seat of power won't be complete until we get rid of Amalek. The war with Amalek, even though it was a physical war, is stemming from a spiritual place. That's what he's saying. The war with Amalek wasn't a physical war only, whereas Mitzrayim was a war that Hashem took care of only. Even Amalek was a war with Hashem helping us. It was only the, the, the reason why we had to go out to wage war because Amalek, the, the Amalek was getting in the way of Martin Tehran. And it was, it was meaning, meaning that the war with Amalek was a deep idea. It wasn't just a physical, they're in the way. For some reason, Hashem decided if it's going forward, then we have to fight. If it's going backwards, Hashem will take care of it. No, it was that Amalek represented something that needed to be fought by us. And that's what he's saying. And now we have, and of course, we're going to discuss the Amalek within us. And we have Mitzrayim within us. And sometimes Mitzrayim within us, it gets helped by Hashem. We have Malik within us. We have to work on ourselves. Let's see. Biglal, Yudal, Biglal ha'uvda shamilchama ima Malik ha'isa mishum kabbalah satayra because the proof being that the Torah, that the war with Amalek was because we're trying to receive the Torah. Ha'isa ha'milchama al kol praktel the war with all its details kushura b'meshur b'inu. Very much connected with Moshe Benu. Moshe Kibel Torah Sinai. Moshe Benu, which he's the one that's receiving the Torah from Sinai. That's why you had Moshe Benu very much involved in this war. Hamachama Nav Ami Moshe. The war sort of stemmed from Moshe. Moshe who Moshe on the said, Bachar, choose for yourself a um, strong man. V'tei lachim emal and go wage war with the Malik. It was, it was Moshe Rabbeinu that said this. The war began with the doubling the prayer of Moshe. And, and it was done to the people of Moshe. Like it says in the Apostle, choose for us people. And the war was won through Yeshua, which was. Mishra is the Mishra. Mishra is the servant. Mishra is the uh, Mishra. He's the uh, he's, uh, secretary, a better word for it. But what we're showing here is not just the war with Amalek. It was a physical war. We had to go out. And of course, it was that it was the war of Hashem. It was just a war, just physically. And that's it. That's because it's getting in the way of Tehran. And Amalek getting in the way. But even more, they also have a Mishra. There's an aspect of Mishra in this war. That's, that's very 
Moshe chooses the people, and, and the one who wins the war is Yeshua, which is Moshe's um, right hand man. So we see another aspect of it is that it's connected to Moshe. You'd base it's Achrin Bnei Yisrael the Milchamas Amalek Hayel Amayel Matzeva. Now, of course, we have to realize that the war with Amalek was a was a war that was above Nisha. Apitzeva Hayel Tzarech Amalek Lenatzeach Kefish Misupim Yisham. Like it says in Yishami, I really Amalek was meant to win the war. Shamalek Kshafon Hayel. They had like Kshafon. Obach Anashim Keilu. And that's such such strong people. Had these special strong people, you know, that special forces versus some uh, slaves coming out of Egypt. Nevertheless, we won. Because when you got to war with the power of Tehram, like we said, these are the people of Meisham. Because everyone that went to war, they, they didn't go thinking that, oh, I'm so strong, that's why he chose me. They understood that we're connected to Torah, and it's all about the Torah, and we're, and we're, we're fighting the war of Torah. Um, and going with the, with the shlichus, and and the power of Torah that caused us to be able to win this victory. So we're seeing here another aspect, not just the war was a physical war, not just it was coming from, but it was, even though it was coming from Hashem, very much connected with Meshem, and this war was something that was miraculous, and the reason why we won, because the people weren't, this is, weren't the strongest people necessarily, and for sure they weren't strong enough to beat Amalek, but they were going with the power of Torah. Yud Gimel, Mitzvah Zichir Amalek Kechal B'chal Yom. Now, now let's start bringing this down a little bit. The, the, the mitzvah of remembering Amalek applies every day. We say this one of the Shesh Tcheres, one of the six remembrances, which we say every day. So therefore, uh, again, we, we, this is a classic that we keep on coming up with and seeing, as the Rebbe is telling us, that, that this idea of what we're talking about Amalek also applies to us in our Amalek daily. And again, a reminder that we keep on seeing in the Rebbe trying to implant within us this idea, this hanacha, this, this axiom. When you learn something in Torah, you have to ask yourself, how am I meant to learn a hero in Avedis Hashem? How am I meant to help me serve Hashem better, connect myself more to Torah mitzvahs, and be more connected and do the right thing? So, so let's see. So we're lucky enough that we get to, when you learn a sikha, the Rebbe tells you. But, but, but the next stage in the process that we ourselves when we're learning we should we should see it we should think about it that way we should say oh, i wonder what this and even if you don't have an answer but at least you know you look at the turn not as a history book you know as Rebbe said in other places not just uh, something that was like the past or so you look at it and say ah oh, i wonder what this means to me you already approach it from a different angle like amalek nema and god says that she karcha says it really literally means like they they cut you off who tzinein is bnei yisrael, but but the deep meaning meant that it called karchav mukar called it it cooled down is bnei yisrael me his love was some the kabbalas the terror from their love to receive the terror, and that's what they're coming to do. <coughs> the yidden are going to receive the terror, and Amalek comes and start cooling you down. Relax, terror is not so special. B'shal shanu bnei yisrael bis love was gedei lebiyesim. We were so excited. We're finally leaving Mitzrayim. We're finally going to go to. I see now and receive the tear. His lavos, she hishpia al umas elam. This this excitement also affected the world. Kefi hamashul le ambat ambati retachas umifia bemejut nechuma as as the marshal of like a, a, a bathtub that's it's boiling. Like it says in the medrash, hakol ro shikan eish oichlo. Everyone saw this, this burning flame and fire of the Yidden, all excited. As by Amalek, and then when we're all excited, Amalek came, the tiny name is Bnei Yisrael. He put some ice cubes into the fire and to cool it down. From our excitement to receive the tail. So Amalek, and, and as we're going to continue tomorrow, which we're going to finish it off. Yes, we're going to finish it off. So 
We have to realize um, the Amalek within us is something that cools us off. Meaning, meaning, and, and, and you think about it for yourself, there's many ways you can apply it. But the, one of the simple ways is when we do something good and we put it down. I'm not that good. Ah, it's not that good. Or well, let's say we learned something. We haven't learned in a while. Or we do something. We, dive. we haven't done in six months. Let's say we haven't done in a while. And we, and we get one day, we get the, the oomph and we dive in. What does a Malik do? And you feel good, you daven, and you feel in the shama. It's like, ah, oh, it feels good. Oh, it feels good davening. So that's the natural good reaction. That's the, the nefesh lakis reaction. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I daven, it feels good. It's Hashem tomorrow, I'll do it again. Amalek comes and says, what are you getting so excited? You davened? You haven't davened forever. You finally davened? It's about time you davened. What are you getting so excited about? Relax, you know, nothing special. Oh, oh, yeah. And, and, and you can, you know, we have to all think to ourselves and apply to ourselves what's an example of our Malik within us, but it's, it's that cools us up, puts it down. Oh, I'm excited for Shabbos. We're so excited. Shabbos is not that special. And, and the Chayin Allah, you can use it at in many examples. So we have to, we have to find our Malik within us. And we have to, as we're going to learn tomorrow, figure out how to deal with this Amalek. Have an amazing day, everybody. Thank you.